Okay, so I'm going to try this video one more time. I've tried about 10 times now and I've had technical difficulties. <laughs> so anyway, um, I want to talk about letting go. And um, I'm going to try to make this quick because I'm actually supposed to be meeting someone. And um, anyway, back to my video. Um, sometimes we have a story. Well, most of the time we have a story. Um, what's interesting to note when you do have a story is if you're the victim of your story or if you're the hero of your story or whatever your story is. I've had both. I've been the victim and I've been the hero. But I'm going to talk to you about the times where you are the victim and what that means. And so some years ago I had a story that I was by myself and um, I carried that on. And you know, I had attitude about all that. Like, I am by myself and da da da, blah blah. And ain't nobody got this, and I'm the, the, I had the neck roll, girl. I, I, Y'all, I had the story, everything. And then I got jacked up by the Holy Spirit. I was like, no, you're not by yourself. You just don't have the people in your life that you wanted to be in there, but you are not by yourself. And so I had to really stop and think about that and just accept that and just change my narrative. And that's. The issue is changing the narrative. So when I realized that that was really true, that I did have people in my life that was taking care of me and supporting me the way that I wanted support and care, it just wasn't the people that I wanted to do it. Then I really you know, took inventory of what I was saying and why. And so today I was talking to someone and talking about letting go and really wanted to do a, a video about what that really means to let go. Um, and you know, we heard that, you know, let go, let God, you know, cause we Christian, we let go, we let God. I was just gonna hug God, I'm gonna let go. And I'm gonna let God. But what does that mean to let go and let God? I think it means to let go of the narrative that you're holding about that victim mentality or whatever the situation is and allow him to change that for you. So that means that's a very um, conscientious effort to let go of your story. And sometimes it's really hard because we've put our identity or we've allowed our identity to be around our story. For instance, you know, don't nobody come to my aid. I'm always by myself. Ain't nobody going to help me because I got these three kids and this and that and blah, blah. And, and now there's a whole economy of energy around that. And anytime somebody doesn't come through for you, then you back to the, well, you know, I'm by myself anyway, so you can go ahead and blah. So sometimes letting go of the narrative and letting something else come in, be, come in becomes very difficult because we've held on to the story for so long that we don't really know or trust that something could actually be different or what it means. And so my encouraging word today is to let go of the story, let go of the narrative. When we say let go and let God, it means to let the story go. Whatever's not working for you. So if it's not working for you that you're by yourself, if you love all of that, stay right there. Don't let nobody change you. Don't let me encourage you. Hey, if it's your thing and you want to stay with it, stay with it. But if you're struggling with the story, if you're miserable, then try letting go of the narrative. Try changing it around. I'm not by myself. I have great friends with me, around me. I have people supporting me. Um, and even when things are truly not going that well, you know, I don't have a, you know, say you had a car accident or something and you can't get to work and, you know, you're just struggling with that. You know, you may be telling people, well, I can't get to work right now. I let go of the story. Like, instead of saying, I can't get to work, say, I'm not sure how I'm going to get there. I'm waiting for a miracle. You know, change your narrative. So let go of your story and your need to be right about your story. Or, you know, because we always try to create a meaning for whatever story or whatever thing is happening to us. We try to give it meaning. But when we let go, we let God give it the meaning. And as that then becomes the let go, let God, let go of your story, let God give you a new one. And he will dictate that thing because he'll bring people into your life that will help you see the new story. Um, or he'll drop things into your spirit that will give you a new story. So the let go, let God, is simply let go of your narrative and let God give you a new one. 
So let go. You know, even when things ain't going that way, let go. You know? So you might say, well, I lost my job. How am I going to let go, let God that? Maybe you said, maybe it becomes, I am now going to be able to find something that is better suited for me. I am free to find better work. I am free to make more money. I have been released from that particular scenario and now I can find a better one. So, yes, yeah, some of it's positive thinking, but more of what I'm trying to get to is let go of your need to be right about what you think is happening to you because the Bible does promise that all things work together for the good of them that love God and all that are called according to his purpose. He does not promise that it's always going to feel good. But if we would believe that part, right, trust that narrative, then we can say that we can turn all the things that look bad that we're going through into something good because the scripture promises that all things work together. So even though you may have lost your job, it's going to work to your good. How is that, honey? I don't know. I don't have the answers. I know in my own life I've had to create a story that allows me to hold my head high and keep moving no matter who it looks like that has left me, defeated me, talked about me, whatever that is, that I've just been able to leave all of that behind with some work. Don't make, let me let you think it wasn't without work because I had to struggle with the self to make sure it happens right. But the encouragement is that, just like going story, I gotta give you a new one. All right, so I'm running way behind for this meeting, but I just had to get this little, you know, thing out of me because it was something in me, in me, in me. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off. But um, guys, let go of your story. Let God give you a new one. And hopefully you are having an absolutely fabulous day. And um, happy new year. All right, bye.